Our next question also touches on law enforcement. The protests and the calls for social justice following the death of George Floyd have put the spotlight on police policies nationwide. Eric Rodriguez, give us your take on the state of policing in Corpus Christi as far as the allocation of resources, uh, training of officers, and can residents be uh, assured that they will be treated um, uh, fairly by, by police here in the city? Please, uh, please give us your response. I do believe our police force is doing a, a great job. Uh, the city and the community as a whole, um, they're 100% professional. A lot of the problems that we're seeing uh, nationally, uh, we're not seeing that here in Corpus Christi, but it doesn't mean that it cannot happen. So we need to remain proactive uh, with our police force and all the different programs that they have. And I, I believe that by creating a type of community uh, overview board or committee to keep the community, uh, community engaged with the police force as well, uh, can create just even more transparency. Priscilla Gonzalez, the question again, give us your take on the state of policing here in Corpus Christi as far as allocation of resources, training, and can all residents be assured that they'll be treated fairly by police? So go ahead and give us your response, please. Yes, it's fortunate to say that I am very comfortable in living in Corpus Christi. Our police department has done a phenomenal job in not allowing protests to get out of control. We do have a good grip on the city. Um, me siento bien segura y estoy bien contenta de estar en Corpus Christi cuando tenemos la policía que nos está protegiendo. Um, in no way, shape, or form would I ever condone any type of violence or any type of escalation. So I'm very proud of our Corpus Christi Police Department and the fact that they have managed to keep a control on the situation. Our next candidate is going to be Joe Michael Perez. Mr. Perez, are Corpus Christi police getting the resources and training they need? And can residents here be assured that they will be treated fairly by police? Go ahead with your answer, please. They, I, I, I have no question that we, we are funding our police now. Um, just recently, uh, we'll have uh, police officers within the next, what was it, next couple of years. We'll have more police officers uh, out in our, our resident resident areas now what what i do feel about the people as, as far as public safety is that uh recently we had antifa marching on our uh in our streets uh near k triple i tv now uh nobody addressed that nobody talked about that but except i did now uh i think current uh, council members need to address those those type of situations because we all know that antifa they're not you know, we all know what they're about. So uh, I, I, I think, you know, uh, council leaders and law enforcement should do a better job with that. Thank you, Mr. Perez. Now, just a quick reminder about the question on the table. In, in light of uh, the nationwide protests surrounding the death of George Floyd, uh, Mayor McComb, what's your take on the, st the state of policing here? Are, are they getting the resources and training they need? And can residents be assured that they will be treated fairly by uh, Corpus Christi police officers? You may get, begin, sir. Yes, sir. I think we've got a fine police department. Chief Markle has done a great job, and the folks in the, in the police department are well trained. Many of the things that are being stated across the country, police forces need to do. Chief Markle in our department has already implemented those, and the training is there. And I think you can see by every ever in the community that we've got a very good working relationship between our citizens and our police department. We're very proud of them. John Medina is our, our next candidate. Mr. Medina, give us your take on the state of policing uh, here. Are police getting the resources they need and the training they need? And can uh, citizens be assured that they will be treated fairly by police? Uh, please begin, sir. I believe that they're, uh, they're doing a good job. Um, it's like, uh, I believe that we all can do a better job we need to um, work with the citizens of Corpus Christi and uh, get out there and uh, talk to the people. Uh, we need to unite. We need to get the, the, the citizens uh, feedback. If we don't get the citizens feedback, um, you know, that's, that's what we need. We need the citizens. And, and I back the, the, the police 100%. I think they need more equipment. I can tell you one thing that, that I believe that they need. They need to get... Um, um make this city a specialized city of um uh, with drones basically so they can the drones can get to certain positions 
uh, here uh, faster and get to the scene of, of the crime and, and all this and that. Uh, we need to get a little department on that. I'm sure we do already, but it needs to be a little bit more advanced, I believe. There's a lot of things that need to be put on the table. Uh, drones could be placed on, on, on uh, the lights that are on the, on the freeway and, uh, and launched to, the, to a specific um, area and, and get there to, to make uh, the city safer. And, uh, and not only that, to, to keep the police officers safe getting to the area. So I want to protect the police officers so that they can get home to their to their families also. So it's not only about the citizens of Corpus Christi; it's it's about everybody. Thank you very much. We're gonna we're gonna move on. Paul Guajardo is our next candidate, and the question is about the state of police police he, policing here in Corpus Christi. And the question is asked in light of the nationwide protests and calls for social justice following the death of George Floyd. Paulette, please give us your response. Well, I understand this is a very delicate issue. Um, I did help the department create a de-escalation unit about a year ago. We also created a crisis, uh, crisis intervention unit uh, to deal with mental health issues and other issues that the police officers uh, encounter. And yes, our residents can be treated fairly uh, by police and officers, uh, I'm sorry, police and city uh, working together to uh, make sure that everyone is safe and that we're addressing the issues um, in the best manner which is why these about, again, a year ago, this was prior to anything that is going on nationwide uh, happening. We were already putting focus on these issues. Um, one of the probably most uh, important things that we have to keep in mind, which goes back to the funding of police officers, is making sure they have 21st century equipment and making sure they have the staffing. But Again, this is something that um, Corpus Christi has already been addressing as far back as a year ago. So I want to remind everyone that I was endorsed by the Police Officers Association, and that means a whole lot because that means you have focus. You have the most focus on what their needs are together in partnership with the city of Corpus Christi. And candidate Pancho Villa is going to wrap up this uh, round of questioning here. Mr. Villa. Do police here, police here have the resources they need and the training they need? And can residents be assured that they will be treated safely by Corpus Christi police officers? Please give us your, uh, your response. Well, I, I, we, I we believe that the training should be improved for our Corpus Christi Police Department. There have been incidents, incidents that have cost the taxpayers uh, millions of dollars. And uh, I, I think we could avoid that with, uh, a new round of training, uh, up-to-date training that uh, would uh, help us avoid some of those situations that sometimes unavoid unavoidably uh, uh, the police get into. And uh, uh, there's been like three or four uh, this year where uh, one case has been settled and it cost the taxpayers millions of dollars. So I, I, I definitely think that they should uh, have new training, up-to-date training on how to deal with some of the situations that they're confronted every day. And uh, that would uh, definitely be good public relations for the police department to avoid such situations. So I definitely, definitely think that there should be a, a, a new training system up-to-date and uh, we would avoid a lot of problems between the citizens of Corpus Christi and the police department. 